Now on WSAR's Breakfast Club, it's the Bristol Community College Update. A monthly visit with President Laura Douglas on 1480 WSAR and 95.9 FM. Sponsored by Bristol Community College. Dreams within reach. Visit bristolcc.edu. All righty, coming up 8.45, Laura with this Monday off, and we're pleased to have you along with us on this Monday morning, Bristol Community College Director of Adult Education, Nancy Levante. Nancy, good morning. How are you? Good morning, Heck. How are you today? I'm doing very well. Did I pronounce your last name right? Yeah, Levante, yes. No, oh, good. Okay, that sounds like a French name to me. I, I probably, yeah, probably is. Yeah, yeah, French. So I, bet, yeah. so I better know that. Okay. By uh, marriage, by uh, marriage. Uh, okay, <laughs> All right. that's fine. Well, it's great to have you along. And uh, Bristol Community College, of course, uh, with all kinds of uh, great uh, programs and making uh, education a, a priority here in the in the, the, great, the greater Fall River area, and of course, along the South Coast with a, a bunch of locations. And this morning, we're going to kick around uh, something that you are, you are very familiar with, something you've been uh, working with for some time, the adult education programs. And how can students get started, I guess, is the question. Yeah, well, thanks. Um, so we have three areas of focus with our programming. One is the high school equivalency preparation program. And then we've got the English language proficiency program, as well as a next steps program for students called the transitions program. So I'll just discuss each one in turn. Um, and so students, you know, when they're ready to, um, you know, go on their journey to get a high school equivalency um, credential, they can start with us by taking classes at the beginner, intermediate, or advanced levels. So we know, of course, that um, that the high school credential is essential for a pathway into college, training programs, the military, and most jobs. So we prepare students for both the, um, the high set, which is the high school equivalency test, as well as the general education diploma, known as the GED, as both exams are accepted in the state um, for that alternative credential. Um, so students will be on their pathway to success by preparing for these exams. And uh, we do have those classes offered uh, at the Fall River, Taunton, and Attleboro locations and in online or in-person formats. The online has proven to be really um, popular since the, the COVID period, of course, but we have plenty of folks that want that in-person class as well. The classes are free and they're funded by the Mass Department of Elementary and Secondary Education at this time. And uh, students pretty much start when they're ready and finish when they're ready to take the test. Right. So I'll discuss, um, yeah, let me just discuss quickly the um, English language proficiency program. So we're offering English language classes for beginner to advanced level students. And these classes um, are for students whose English is not their first language and they need help developing their English language skills. And these classes, you know, help students um, increase their reading, writing, speaking, and listening skills. Lots of English grammar, as you can imagine, and then much more in terms of readying them for their next step which is um, either taking some career training or um, entering into one of our certificate or degree programs at the college. All right, all important steps to getting to uh, where you want to be to get that degree and advance in your career uh, mm -hmm. in Bristol, making it uh, pretty easy. What's the best way folks can, they can learn more about the programs? I just, I guess, go to the website probably, right? Yeah, yeah. So I have the website. I just wanted to talk uh, really quickly about the transition program. Which, sure, um, and absolutely. It's, it's, yeah, once, they're, once they finish their high school equivalency credential, get that credential or um, have that proficiency in English, they can move on to the transition program, which allows them to enroll right in a certificate or degree program while they receive support along the way um, up to two years while they're a student in the program. They can um, have access to some um, courses that are paid for, and we have two um, career training programs at this point. One is the Clean Water Technology Program. The students are um, studying to become a, a Massachusetts wastewater operator, um, and so they do the certification right with us, and they're ready for that career. And also Certified Nursing Assistant is a new program we've been funded to receive. And yes, all of this information is on the website. And I just wanted to make a quick note I should about the Mass Reconnect program this um, starting the work starting to get out in the community with the passing of the 2023-24 state budget. Um, students 25 and older are now eligible to receive um, you know, free uh, courses at the college. 
because our students typically are much older, you know, 25 and older. And um, just there are certain eligibility requirements. The uh, um, most prominent one is that you have not earned a college degree previously. Okay, so they're studying with us, they're becoming proficient in English, they're getting their high school equivalency credential, we're helping them transition to those degree and certificate programs, and they become they can become licensed in a, um, in a career uh, of interest. Excellent okay. stuff. I got to yeah. tell you, I know the, the the 25 and over adult uh, program has been in the news. For, it's been a what? I, yeah. I think I remember Laura talking about it a couple of months in anticipation of let's hope it gets passed by the legislature and signs signed on by the governor. And I guess that uh, that has happened. Thank God for that. Amen. Right. Yep. As of the fall. So it's, it's reality now. Very exciting time. Yep. And of course, Bristol, has, as, as everybody knows over the years, Bristol Community College has given so many folks the opportunity to advance, to improve your life. And a lot of you can, after two years at Bristol Community College, of course, make the transition to a four-year, right? Yes, we've got the mass transfer program in place for most of our programs at Bristol, which means students don't even have to apply for the four year as long as they've maintained a certain GPA. And we've done such an excellent job of aligning our certificate and degree programs to the four years, you know, the area of public four years in particular. But we've got lots of transfer agreements in, state, in place across the state. So it's just really wonderful to see all the good work we've done to enable those pathways for students. All right. Thank you very much, Nancy, Bristol Community College Director of Adult Education. I would imagine you have been busy. Yeah, yeah, you know, it slows down a bit in the summer. We do offer programming right through the summer, but we're gearing up for sure. We've got, you know, enrollment is up um, very much so, especially for English language learners. We've got lots of folks looking to improve their English and to, you know, kind of get themselves connected to a, a career. Lots of those folks are coming with their high school diploma already, right? And, and some really great experience in their own countries. So just looking for this opportunity to get connected here. All right, terrific. Thank you for all the great info. Have a great rest of the summer and then a, a busy fall, I would imagine, right? Yeah. Thank you, Hector. All right. You too. Take care. It's 1480 SCR 95.9.